Well, I know. <laughs> this is exciting, isn't it, Diego? I've never been there. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> you don't say. <laughs> Diego, what's wrong? I don't really feel like meeting him, Lolita. Why ever not? This is his welcome home party. You were friends at the same school in Spain. Did you become enemies at school? Oh no, it's nothing like that, Father. Well, go and say hello then. Go on. Ah, good evening, Don Vega. I'm so pleased you could attend. Welcome home, La Paz. It's good to see you. And you too, Don Vega. Hi, Diego. You haven't changed a bit. But you look prettier than ever, Lolita. Oh, don't start, La Paz. <laughs> I I'd like to thank you, Diego, for being so kind to my son in Spain. I, I hope that now he's home, you'll continue to be good friends. Of course, sir. Welcome home, La Paz. You look really well. It looks as though Spain's been kind to you, La Paz. Oh, it has. As you know, I spent almost twice as long there as Diego did. Don Vega, uh, would you care to join me in a glass of rather excellent wine I've had imported from France? Well, we'll leave the youngsters to catch up together, huh? From France, you say? It must be very expensive wine. Ah, it wasn't cheap, huh? Well, one should be able to enjoy the finer things in life. Lolita, I'd like to talk to Diego alone. Would you mind? I'm sorry. What? Of course. What's the matter, La Paz? You're the only one who knows the truth about what happened in Spain, Diego. You know about me not going to school and about the kind of people I was mixing with. And so I had to stay on longer than you. Yeah, I know. Well, what I wanted to say is, will you keep it all a secret, Diego? I don't want everybody in the town to find out. Don't worry, La Paz. I won't tell anyone your secret's safe with me. Oh, thank you, Diego. I just knew I could depend on you. We've always been such good friends, haven't we? <laughs> yes, you see, my son's grades at school in Spain were excellent compared with Diego's. Oh, do look at him now. Apparently, he was just like that at school. Yes, they say he was terrible. He failed all his early examinations. They had to send him back home in the middle of the studies. Oh. And before they left for Spain, Diego was considered to be much brighter than my son. I could never understand that. It's obvious La Paz is the smarter of the two. I mean, you've only got to look at Diego. <laughs> hmm. Did you hear that? You know, maybe La Paz would make a better fiance for our Lolita than Diego. Oh, I don't know, Carlos. I've heard some bad rumors about his father. Really? Well, what are they? Well, apparently, he's a hated man. Before he moved to Santasco, he put a lot of people out of business. They lost their homes and everything. So, he's a man with enemies. I think he probably is. What happened, Sergeant? Get back! What's the matter, Gonzalez? It, it's Don Jose. What about Don Jose? He. <gasps> Someone call a doctor. He's still alive. They've arrested Sergeant Gonzalez? Yeah, they found out Sergeant Gonzalez owed Don Jose some money. And they're saying that's why the sergeant tried to kill him. But wasn't Gonzalez hurt too, Bernard? The army thinks he did it to himself for an alibi. Well, actually, I saw Don Jose and Sergeant Gonzalez talking in the garden. They were standing right over there. Ah, ah there you oh. are, Gonzalez. 
Oh, Don Jose. I'd like to congratulate you on your son's return. Yeah, never mind that. You and I got something more important to talk about. Huh? I want to talk to you later. Yes, sir. Oh. I mean, he did look pretty upset. But I still can't believe that Gonzalez would try to kill anyone. Hmm. Honest, it's all true, sir. Please, will you believe me? I was just standing there, and then someone hit me from behind. I'm tired of your excuses, Gonzalez. I'm really sorry, Don Jose. Uh -huh. What's that? It's all true, Lieutenant. I've never done anything bad like that in my whole life. Oh, stop sniveling. Don Jose is an important man. He donates a lot of money to the army. I have been given orders to find and arrest the person who tried to murder Don Jose as quickly as possible. But it wasn't me. I'm innocent. Oh, I'm not so sure. Oh, no. Please, Lieutenant, remember how hard I've worked for you for all these years. I have good news for you, Gonzalez. I think I found the real killer. You have? Well, who is it? Don Jose's son, La Paz. You can see him now. No, oh, please leave, my darling. Is he going to be all right, Doctor? It depends on his will to survive. How dare you burst in? I have a very sick patient in this room. Lopez, you're under arrest for attempted murder. I'm what? He tried to kill his own father? Yes. We found out about your gambling in Spain. You owe a large amount of money to some very important people. In fact, these people have sent debt collectors over from Spain, and you've been arguing with your father about it, haven't you? Well! No! Ah! No! Stop him! He's getting away! After him, quickly! It's all over, La Paz. What on earth's going on, Lieutenant Gabriel? Why don't you ask him? They're saying that I tried to kill my father, Diego. What? I've never trusted La Paz. He always seemed too smooth for his own good. Surely you're not saying that you really believe he stabbed his father, Lolita. Why not? Look, I know La Paz isn't perfect. He spent a lot of time gambling and mixing with the wrong sort of people. But I, I, I also know La Paz could never kill anyone, especially his own father. Who did it then? I wish I knew. Look! Over there! Aren't they the debt collectors that traveled over from Spain? Yeah, that's them. Look, it's Sergeant Gonzalez. How's your head, Sergeant? Is it still hurting you? Just a little, Bernard, but not as much as the hunger pain. You see, while I was in jail, I... I lost so much weight, I was almost ill. Ugh. You don't look much thinner to me, Sergeant. So how is La Paz? Has he confessed to the attempted murder yet? So far, he hasn't admitted it. He's so stubborn. Ugh. He's still denying he did it. So what evidence have you got that he did try to kill his father? Some of their servants had them arguing about the money. Why not, Father? You can afford it. It's only a little bit of money to you. It's a lot of money to some people, La Paz. You should try earning something for yourself for a change. I need that money. Give it to me. They said they heard La Paz threaten to kill his father. Oh. And that argument took place on the same day that someone stabbed Don Jose. I hate to say it, but I think he did it. Now I'm certain he did it. Exactly where on the head were you hit, Sergeant? Oh, they hit me right here on the top. It must have really hurt. I'll say it did. Why couldn't they use a little stone instead of such a big one? What? Are you saying the stone was very heavy? Hmm. 
So you went to open the secret safe? Yes, I did. I sneaked upstairs to my father's room while he was downstairs at the party. I tried to open up his secret safe. And did you manage to do it? No, I didn't. I couldn't get the door to open. So because you were angry, you tried to kill your father? No, I was still in his room when the stabbing happened. Well, if you didn't do it, who did? How do I know? It's supposed to be your job to find out. Well, has he confessed yet? He refuses to admit to anything, Commander Raymond. So you still say you're innocent? Of course I'm innocent! This case has shocked people across the whole country. The Governor General has decided that you should go to prison for 25 years. What? Commander! And if his father dies, he'll be sentenced to death and execute it. Take him away. No! What? This is ridiculous. I haven't done anything. I'm innocent! What? You still believe that La Paz isn't guilty? Yeah. I felt sure of it when I saw the wound on Gonzalez's head. What do you mean? Oh, you'll find out later. What are you doing? Hurry up. <sighs> Does it? Keep watch, Tackle. Huh? Hmm. What have you found, boy? Hmm. What's this? What have you got there, Carlos? It's a leaflet from Zaro. It says that Zaro is going to prove that La Paz is innocent. These leaflets are a great idea. I'm really enjoying this. Yay! Huh? Quickly, open the door. Who are you? I'm Zaro. I'm a friend. Now you, go and tell everyone that I'm here. Help! Help! But why did you let him go? It's all right. Come with me. Help! It's Zaro! It's Zaro! Zaro is here! What did you say? Commander, Zaro is in the building! What? No, oh, there he is! Get after him, now! Over there! They can't escape! So what does it say? This man called Zaro says he's going to reveal who really attacked Don Jose back at the scene of the crime. Who, Zaro? I don't know. Just some fool shouting his mouth off. They'll never know the real truth. <laughs> <laughs> who is that? Uh, what are you doing down there? I'm little Zaro! I've got something you might find interesting. What do you mean? This. What? That, that's mine. How did you get that? <laughs> You're gonna have to try and catch me if you want it back. <laughs> Give me that here, that's mine. And La Paz is with him. Zaro, did you really think you'd get away with releasing La Paz? You're both on your way back to jail now. Why are there so many people gathered here, huh? I told everybody to meet me here if they wanted to see La Paz prove his innocence. He hasn't been able to do that all week. Well, tonight, Commander, he will. You see, that's the rock that was used to knock out Sergeant Gonzalez. So what? We already know that. La Paz, pick up that rock for me, please. Hmm? Well, did you see that? 
Someone the size of La Paz isn't strong enough to pick it up. It would be impossible to lift it over his head. How did you let the case get so far without checking out something as simple as this? So it was Gonzalez. I knew it was you all the way along, you fat liar. No, it wasn't me. Why don't you start using your brains, Gabriel, and figure out who really did it? What's that? Sergeant Gonzalez isn't the kind of person to try and kill someone. No, I'm not like that. You're a fine one to talk about right and wrong, Zorro. You're just a rebel. Wait, so who do you think is a real criminal, Zorro? The real criminal is... the owner of this shirt. Whose shirt is it, Zorro? You can't catch me! <laughs> Oh, no, it's the army. Let's get out of here. I know them. Here! Have your shirt back! What's going on? Oh. Uh. These are the two men who really attacked Don Jose. What? Ah! This is La Paz's IOU from Spain. It says if he doesn't return the money by the date agreed, his family, land, and property will be taken instead. What? It didn't say anything about the property and land. On the IOU that I signed, it just said I agreed to pay back the money that I owed. La Paz, it looks as if somebody has tried to imitate your handwriting. Well? It's a very nice fairy story, my friend, but you still don't have any evidence. They're the criminals. What? Don Jose? Father? You're the ones that tried to kill me. Uh, how do you know I stabbed you in the back? Shush, you fool. I saw you both as you ran away. And you thought that if you could get La Paz to take the blame for the attack, he'd be in jail when the IOU ran out and you'd get all the family land and property. <laughs> I want them arrested at once. Gonzalez, stop that man! Stay where you are. If you come any closer, I'll kill you. Come back here. What I've been through because of you. And me! I win, big man. Oh, oh. Oh. Stay right where you are, Zorro. You may have solved the La Paz case, but I'm afraid you're under arrest yourself. How can you say that? If it wasn't for Zara, I'd still be in prison. Step back, or you'll be back in jail. What? what? Command, I must object to the outrageous behavior of your officer, Lieutenant Gabriel. After all the money I donated to the Army, I ask you as a favor to me to let Zara go. I'm sorry, but I can't do that. Commander, if you insist on arresting Zara, I will speak to the Governor General, and if necessary, I will talk to the King. Zara has helped save my family. He hasn't done anything against the army today. Hmm. Lieutenant Gabriel, let him go. But, sir! You won't be so lucky next time, Zaro. That's if you're still in charge. You might be out of a job if you keep arresting innocent people. <clears throat> thank you, Don Jose. And you too, La Paz. No, thank you. I could still be in jail, Zaro. I really owe you my life. Well, until we meet again. Ho! Father, please wait a minute. I'm really sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. La Paz! I just got involved with the wrong sort of people in Spain. I've really messed up. I'm sorry. Father? 
It's okay. Huh? Oh, father! <laughs> Hmm. Oh, that's better. See, look how hard La Paz is working now, Lolita. Hi there! Hi there, La Paz. I wish Diego was working as hard as you. I thought Don Jose gave you a job to do while you were here. Yeah, he asked me to see if I could get that ox to walk up and down the field. I told him I was good with stubborn cows. <gasps> Are you trying to be funny, Diego? Huh? <laughs>